think of the vacation as a gift because you didn't give her something tangible. He's stuck with this lady at home. <laughs> He's clapping to go to that. You wouldn't be your friend. You would have been your boyfriend already. Because we're gonna go home. You're not gonna ride it. She put the pen down. Your marriage won't work, honey. You're okay, gonna... and you're a guys can't just put on their dating profile. No fat girls. The experience was so bad that she had to stop after 18 months because she was starting to hate women. <laughs> Getting nervous now. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Now, before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to make sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. What's your expectation? Princess treatment. Princess treatment. Yeah, I'm not too hard okay. to deal with. All right. Like I said, the frequent dates, the going out to eat, the romantic surprises, occasionally like the flowers, you know, like making sure everything is good in the house, like if I need anything. Sure. Um, not too much. Question for you on that. So if that's what's expected of the guy, what's expected of you? I don't know. I know nothing to offer. <laughs> Got to come with something. If you want something, you got to give something. I've told me to be more in touch with my feminine side. So I crashed the car. <laughs> That's usually my line. <laughs> and then ignored her all day for no reason. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> crashed the car, ignored her all day for, for no reason. Sounds like what women do. <laughs> Except for crash the car. That's a little extreme. Um, excuse me, I didn't ask for whipped cream. Oh, you didn't ask for whipped cream? Mm -mm. Did you say that at the register? Yeah. Okay, so that means that this isn't your So if oh. you could, kindly sit your ass down and okay. I will call you when your drink is ready. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, damn. <laughs> Just because if, if you talk to a guy, if there's always going to be a back of the start, maybe I could sleep with her. But if not, maybe he'll be cool about it and wouldn't even like mention it. But in the back of his mind, he'll yeah. probably be down to sleep with you. Now, to find a guy that doesn't think like that. It's going to be gay or yeah. asexual. Or, re or really, he's just not physically into you. And also, you got to be physically not into him. So okay. that could work. But if you're both hot... Honestly, so I'm a six, but now you're saying I'm hot. I just say you're hot. Oh, okay. You're a mess. You're what? Hi, guys. You guys can be friends. We can be friends. We can be friends, but I already want to. That wouldn't work. Okay. He's being honest. He would want to smash a girl like her. You want to smash? He said she's a six. Nah, I give her a little more than that, but he's right. I I want to know how the divorce laws came to be i do i want to know I, I somebody must have written a book on it i just want to know how we got to this place where um you know first of all this idea that you have to live in the style of which you've become accustomed i can help you here i can okay. help you a oh, couple couple ways here's the big one lawyers make a lot of money if there's a large settlement so it's lawyers yes lawyers don't make a lot of money if there's no settlement, Phil Hartman, when he was getting divorced, one of the things that he said to me, I go, dude, just never half. Come on, man. You make a lot of money. He goes, it's not half. He was crazed. He's like, it's two thirds. He goes, the third. It's exactly. Damn. And I've had friends that have gotten divorced. And even though they were, they had come to an agreement with the, the ex, like, let's listen with this, this, and you'll get this and I'll get this. Fine. Then the lawyers jump in. He's trying to, and this, no, they're trying to that's, deserve more. That's exactly and, the plot of. Now, he said it's not half, it's two-thirds robbery. Women have been robbing guys 67%. That's crazy. The European people here. What? Why do you, like, why do you do that to your husband? He doesn't want to participate. Why would you do that to him? She grabs his arm. Say it. Say it. French, French, French. What did he do to you? He married you. You're 
helping him? You're not a helping him, you're harassing him. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. <laughs> One of the most beautiful accents. The accents are beautiful. Uh, I am Emmanuel, I'm here. Uh, so nice to have you. On behalf of the Persian community, we apologize for you to be stuck with this lady at home. She probably forced food in your mouth. <laughs> He's clapping to go to that. Lady, you're abusive. He's your friend and you're really harassing this poor guy like this. I know, but you trying to help me? You were trying to help me? Don't, don't help me, okay? If you acted right, she wouldn't be your friend. She would have been your boyfriend already. Word. You stupid. Standing on one side of the river when she sees another blonde on the other side and she yells out, how do you get over the other side of the river? And the other blonde says, don't be stupid. You're already there. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, babe. Wait, because she's like singing something reflection. No. No. <laughs> Expensive thing a man has bought you. Does vacation count? Yeah. And the funny thing is chicks be acting like it doesn't count. See, broads are so goofy, like they love tokens, right? So say you take a chick out on a vacation, she still want the plushie though. Y yeah, you might have spent 10 bams on a vacation, but she want the plushie. And here's the thing, when you ask her and they remember, they don't think of the vacation as a gift because you didn't give her something tangible. So when they're thinking of gifts, they're thinking of the things they can hold in their hand because they want to show other women the mental. It's amazing. Like if you pay for her education, you pay for her to go to college, that doesn't really count. It's not romantic, even though it's expensive. Sad, but true. I need to save money. Get that plushie. I ain't getting it, but y'all can save money as a cheat code. Finesse them. Get the plushie. Just don't get the expensive stuff. He's right. It, guys are better off getting something that a woman can see, a woman can feel, a woman can touch. That's just how women are. It's, it's wild. Ever since the beginning of time. Take it all the way back to Adam and Eve. She was offered things she can see, feel, and touch. That's real. This jewelry on my arm is real. Don't love me because of no diamonds. Take all this. This bracelet right here look real as a this shit twenty three dollars on Amazon. Um, you said look. Are those earrings real? No. You can't tell. You, I don't know. You know why it's not real? Mm. Because I've lost so much of this. Mm. I just spent a half a million dollars on the f call Jacob the jeweler. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I don't lose no sleep. Yeah. Over trying to win the popularity contest from showing up. With all this jury that I'm gonna leave on a nightstand and have a housekeeper to say, I don't know. I'm sure you don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you don't know what them two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars raise is that? I don't know. We looked everywhere. I'm sure you looked everywhere. That mother tired two weeks later. Oh, and oh. <laughs> hey, sure, and hey, these mother still they pay me back to this day. Man, now that's that's robbery. Call the cops. $250,000 earrings is missing. And the, the, the person that cleans your home is saying, I don't know. Call the police. And that's anybody out there. Call the cops. Been telling men that it's their masculine duty to protect and provide for women. Really just telling men to place women on a pedestal above themselves. I think, yeah, in a way it is. Definitely. Well, is that equality? No. No, I don't think so. I think sometimes girls just like to be spoiled. Wouldn't men like to be spoiled by women? Yes, and women should spoil their men as well. So then why aren't women expected to protect and provide for men? They can do that too. I mean, honestly, take a look at everything we do. If there's a fire, they say women and children first. So, I mean, if we can also get rid of that, that can be helpful towards that. But, I mean, it can be putting them on a pedestal. But, again, it also comes from like that internal teaching and teaching from a young age of men if they need to be the provider. And if we don't put it that way and we show that everyone can be either the stay-at-home mom or the stay-at-home dad or you know someone can provide more for the partnership with still being an equal and have a say, then I think we can move forward in a better way. That's wild, right? It's not even.
women have to understand you you expect men to give you more and that's just the way it is and you know what by now men have accepted it it's just now men speak up loud about it you have spaces like like this one where men can speak up about it get some relief and go on about the day but a lot of times men know what's going on they've accepted it and they're choosing to stay out of it is height matter in a guy yeah yeah you're saying height matters. Men were born with their height and they cannot change that. You know what you changed that you were born with? Your body count, because you started with zero. So right on the board, yeah, how many men you've been with? I'm a because we're- I'm a dog. We gotta no. go home. You're not gonna ride it? She put the pen down. Your marriage won't work, honey. Okay, and you're a- Emotional damage. Hey, next time, next time. Man, she, he called her a, a three or four. She tried to swing on him. She's a mean three or four. Man, that's that's wow. Yeah, I'm married. Uh, how many kids do you have? Uh, eleven. You have eleven kids. <laughs> 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 hey, I am every every time working, no stopping. <laughs> oh man. I was like the cool kid, but none of the khakis ever fit me because I was really tall. And you got that fat ass. No, I was tall. Oh. <laughs> I was <laughs> tall. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm sorry. My bad. So would you rather have me for the rest of your life or $10 billion? $10 million. But listen, listen. Okay, because ten billion dollars to help the kids. What about me? But I always have you in my heart, and that's like a forever thing. And you think about it, I could give like four million dollars to the kids, like four million to the kids. What about me? And then like the rest can. You're be, never gonna give any money to me. It'll be self. I can't have you. You don't. It'd be the rest would be self love, like money for self love, so that I'll be a better father for the children. They need their mother. Yeah, but that's not an option. It's ten billion dollars, which you know, or you. No, he's right, but only four million to the kids. That's a little wild. Like, but he's right though. But when he says self love, he's crazy for that one. I get married, but I don't want a wedding. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just think you get the wedding too soon in the marriage. You get it like immediately. It's nothing to look forward to. You should have to earn your wedding. You know, you don't get graduation just because you signed up for school. You got to pass some tests first. When I get married, I want my wedding after my marriage. During the divorce. And then we do the wedding backwards, so it makes more sense. Yeah, I want the wedding to start with me and my wife walking up the altar and all our friends and family there throwing stuff at us. And I pull the veil over my wife's face, take back my ring and all my promises. And I watch her leave the church with her dad. And I'm not allowed to see her again because it's bad luck. <laughs> yeah. A guy that's sweet, a guy that's tough, a feminist who likes to pay for stuff, the kind of guy that gets along with your friends without being attracted to any of them. A good boy, a bad boy, a good bad boy, a half good, half bad, half boy. Loves your brother, sensitive but not weekend. Is a great lover, calls your mother on the weekend. Now you might think this guy only exists in your mind. But guess what? You're right. If you want love, lower your expectations a few. Because Prince Charming would never settle for you. If you want love, just pick a guy and love him. And if he's got a for a 24 karat necklace and my husband made me this is the husband a jeweler <laughs> <laughs> <Daddy! laughs> that's wild he got a, a 20 karat necklace <laughs> that was funny I'm a window like I like my swim goggles <laughs> Like my coffee. Coffee. 
Island and sweet. Sight black! I love my women like I like my sandpaper. Rubbing up and down on my wood. <laughs> I was going. Body positivity doesn't include uh, men. It doesn't include us at all. We have no part in that. That's a women's only sport. That is, uh, women can have any type they want. Some are heightists, some exclude entire races. Some women's dating profiles read like the sign to get on a roller coaster in 1940s Kentucky. They're like, no guys under 5'10, no black guys, must love adventure. You're like, what the ride am I trying to get on? I'm like, I don't want to ride this ride. I mean, sure, I can. I'm 5'9, but. Right, it's racist. What a bad roller coaster. Guys can't do something like that without catching a touch. Like, guys can't just put on their dating profile, no fat girls. <laughs> See how awkward it gets? That's My point exactly. That's crazy. That's because, like, the racist lady in the last part of jokes, all right, but this is where we draw the line. He's right, though. Men are discriminated against, and it's been happening for so many years, but we accept it. We roll with the punches. Guys roll with the punches, accept it, but now guys. Don't want to do it anymore. Guys aren't accepting it. So just like at the end of the video, guys aren't attending singles events. Guys aren't dealing with women playing their games. Guys aren't staying in the friend zone. Guys are done. People like JK Rowling need to stop because my people so are violent. dying because of her. She is killing. Oh, but there's one more good thing about this book. JK Rowling dies. Yeah, Gretchen had the nerve to kill off the queen of the turfs, and it is glorious. I only wish that scene could have been even more brutal. They, them, are very bloodthirsty. Laura Vincent, the author of Self Made Man, has died by assisted. She was a radical feminist who believed men lived on easy mode and tried to prove it by disguising herself as a man for two years. Instead, what she found out is that men actually have it very hard and wrote a book about her experience. The experience was so bad that she had to stop after 18 months because she was starting to hate women due to how bad the women treated her when she believed she was a man. Men are suffering. They have different problems than women have, but they don't have it better. They need our sympathy, they need our love. They need each other more than anything else. They need to be together. Do you think women understand what it's like to be a man? Not at all. No clue. No idea. I really like being me, and I really like being a woman. Did you like being a woman before, Ned? I did, but I like it more now, because I think it's more of a privilege. It is a privilege, and guys deal with it. Guys go through all of the horrible things. Especially in life, like say for instance, I've done videos on women, uh, you know, going homeless or getting evicted. Let that happen to a man. See, those women had people, and all of them asked for money. A guy can't ask for that. A guy can't go homeless. He's looked at as a bum. He's called a bum. He could be on the street crying, and he can't do anything. He can't ask anyone for help. Why? Because most people. Won't think to help them. They're going to say, get up off your lazy back or get up on your feet and get ahead. And that's expected of a man, right? But I'll tell you one thing it builds a man. It builds tough skin, right? Guys have to be tough. We have no choice but to be tough. We have to take an insult and keep moving. We have to take criticism and keep pushing. We don't get a second chance. I feel like I'm I'm talking like you only get one shot. Dude. That's true. Guys only get one shot. And we got to get it right. One thing women know how to do really good is keeping other women single. Yeah. Mm, women sure. give other women the most horrible advice ever. Yeah, I agree. So that they can be single just like you. They really have a clandestine jealousy for women who are in a relationship. No one's looking for you. You're no man's first choice. You're absolutely no man's first choice uh, saying how you don't need no man and how we don't need y'all. What do you mean we, lady? Wait. You're only, hold on, you're only one person. What do you mean we don't need y'all? You are no man's first choice. Stop trying to recruit these young girls Recruit. and have them recycle your, your way of thinking to pull them on your side because these young girls and women that are aligning themselves with the interests of men, they have a chance to go on and have a happy and healthy and fruitful relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't. But now you're trying to recruit more and more women to come over there and be lonely with your ass. How old are you? 30. Why are you lying to me, though? 30. <laughs> Why are you lying? I think they're roasting you're me, dude. 36. They're roasting me. You're 
Why are you running? Baby Lizzo roasting me. <laughs> Iman. Okay. Iman. He's a comedian. I try. You're not that funny. I know. You You're not that cute. <laughs> gotcha. She needs that. Oh my God, this is what's wrong with today. The young ladies today, they're not learning from mom. How to cook, we're losing recipes. And now... Man, Margaret Arvin was going in. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Take it off. Oh, the soup's not going to get any salad. -er. It's a fact. I can't believe the amount of women on the internet today calling themselves very demure. Very demure. Very mindful. That word means reserved and modest and shy. You wear lingerie to your kids' baseball game. You are the whore. Don't stop doing it, because I like to look. But you got to figure out what word you need to be using. You are not demure. You are unpure. And the more you say it, the less we believe it. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. But he's right, though. Woman is just all out, everywhere. Letting the goodies hang. <laughs> And an energy company was about to go bankrupt. New manager came in and said, okay, we've got to throw everything out and start again. And made a conscious decision based on his belief that it's a human right that men and women are paid equally. Went out of his way to make the workforce within that company 50-50 as much as he could in terms of men and women being represented. So we're talking about engineers, we're talking about tradespeople, we're talking about in workshops, we're talking at, at the managerial level. If you hire 50% women engineers and 50% male engineers, then the women engineers are less qualified because the pool of engineers is lower among women. So you can't hire 50% women engineers without producing a decrement in the quality of the engineers. The selection pool is too small. You can't do that on a large scale. You might be able to do that in one company. Think about it mathematically. If there's 10 times as many male engineers as there are female engineers, and you insist upon hiring 50-50, then obviously the degree to which the female engineers are proficient cannot be the same as the degree to which the male engineers are proficient. It's mathematically impossible. It's true. It is mathematically impossible because that's just something women don't push towards. And then you have to think about the longevity too. There's a lot of guys that are engineers for longer and they have more experience and their background is impeccable so comparing that to a lot of women engineers it's just not the same as he said it's mathematically impossible and something women need to think about when they talk about the equality argument because really that argument doesn't make sense of course not all gay people are happy camp and fun some of them are lesbians <laughs> If you're a lesbian and you didn't find that funny, you're surprising no one. <laughs> Train to Leeds. <laughs> Makeup check. Let's sign it. Um, let's see. It's quite bad. Yeah, okay. middle one. I'm not sorry. Feel like you need. Jen, what's your name? <laughs> waiting, waiting. Boring. Getting nervous now. Oh, it's time. Let's do this. It's not going well so far. Where did all the good men go? Get that drink down and go. Yeah, that's crazy. It's wild. Like... They wanted guys to show up. They go there for guys to show up, and they go there, and it's 90% women. This is happening everywhere. It is. It's happening in Atlanta. It's happening. Every, every state you can think of is happening. Why, why is this happening? Guys have spoken up. Guys have.
I just saw recently on another video I did, a guy, guys are doing it in Atlanta. On another video I did, guys are doing it over here in D.C. It's like everywhere is happening. Why? Why are men done? Men are done with the games. They are. They're done with the games. They're done with women thinking they have it hard when they don't because guys are the one going through embarrassment. Guys are the one being put in the friend zone. And then guys getting put in the friend zone and then women are getting mad when that guy finds someone that doesn't play games because men are going to search for the right one. That's what we do, right? And you saw the other woman who was in the shoes of a man for so many years. She broke down, couldn't handle it. And she she appreciated being a woman. And she was a straight up dude. She was, a, what do you call her, a stud. She was a stud. She said, I'm going to go back to that. Because I can't take being a man. We go through it. We go through hardship all the time. So imagine that and imagine when something happens, uh, something else gets thrown on a plate. Like a death of the family. I'm just, you know, being extreme. But still, look at that. I looked at I look at that woman and say she couldn't handle it. She was breaking down and she started hating women. And think about us. We go by and we still don't hate y'all. Ain't that something? Doesn't that show the difference between a man and a woman? This woman started hating women. Men go through what we go through, and we still don't hate y'all. What do we say? We say we 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 want women here. Women make it better. It's it's different. It's night and day. Like a woman say, there's a lot of misogynists. I think it's a lot of more misandrists. And guys don't want to deal with that because they realize it's definitely more to life than being around a woman like that. Men are waking up and realizing the American woman mindset is altered, skewed. It's bad for business. It's bad for marriage. It's bad for life. Why is that? Because the modern day woman is very masculine. Society and the feminist have skewed and altered the matrix into having women believe get a good education and a good job and you don't need a man. And you're seeing the percentages and the numbers and statistics go up. More and more people are single and less and less birth rates are happening in America. And men are tired of it. So what's happening now, men are getting passports and going overseas to find a woman. And American women are upset and sideways about it. Number one response is they can't handle us. And for once in your life, you're correct. They can't. Nobody else can handle you. And on top of that, nobody else wants to handle you. When a woman says this, nobody can handle me. That's why they're doing it. They're mad, they're bitter. What is the outcome that you want? Because if you're a woman that says you don't need a man, then you have no business commenting on this video and disagreeing with.